With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The number of d broadly wavelength contained in the second Bohr orbit of hydrogen atom is. Uh, now when you are saying it is in uh, hydrogen Bohr's orbit or when you are saying it is a d broadly wavelength, the general expression for a d broadly wavelength lambda will be equal to h by mv. Correct? So this is given as the d broadly wavelength. And now uh, when you are talking about the second Bohr orbit, we will go with the Bohr's hypothesis or Bohr's postulates and according to Bohr's postulates, uh, we have a condition like angular momentum mvr is equal to the integral multiple of h by 2 pi, you will take it as n h by 2 pi. This is the condition among, according to the Bohr's postulate. And in this, uh, if you are writing it for uh, 2 pi r here, so 2 pi r will be equal to n h by mv. So h by mv we know it is lambda right from this equation. So substituting this over here you get it as uh, 2 pi r will be equal to n into lambda. So uh, 2 pi r is n into lambda. So second Bohr's orbit which means n is equal to 2. Right? So n is equal to 2. How many de Broglie wavelength you get? You get it as 2 d lambda. So it is 2 d Broglie wavelength. So in general, you can say it like uh, when you have uh, n d Broglie wavelengths in nth Bohr orbit. So 2 d Broglie wavelength will be in second Bohr's orbit. So you can say that option 2 will be the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.